So hello friends, let's begin with the web services. Now what is a web service? A web service is an entity or a component that can be remotely invoked over the internet to provide a particular functionality to any number of applications. It means a web services can be used to service many clients applications over internet. For example, e-commerce sites can use the web services of a shipping company to calculate the cost of a shipment. If we we'll see the example of a flip cart, a flip cart when you purchase something on a flip cart, the items can be saved into your shopping cart and at the end payment can be done in a single billing section. Similarly, a second example is of a news site. A news site can retrieve the news headlines produced with external news providers and display them on its own pages in real time. If you see this diagram, a client application is sending the request over HTTP to the web server. Now web server consists of a number of web services available into it and provides an reply response in the format of XML. So this whole process is actually is going on over internet. Now this terminology SOAP stands for simple object access protocol. This protocol will provide an XML format for the message. Now let's see what are the benefits of web services. Sir, web services are simple. It means they can be used to implement on various platforms. They are loosely coupled. Their interfaces and methods can be extended. Stateless means they do not carry any state of information within them. And finally, they are firewall friendly. It means they are not affected by any of the firewalls. Now, these are the some web services standards or you can say these are the components of web services. The first component is WSDL stands for Web Services Description Language which is used to create an interface definition for a web service. The WSDL document tells a client what methods are present in a web service, what parameters and return values each method uses and how to communicate with them. The second component is SOAP, Simple Object Access Protocol which allows web services to communicate with other web services or other applications over internet and provides the format for XML messages. The another component is DISCO, that is Discovery, which creates a list of related web services in a file called DISCO file. The last standard is UTDI, that is Universal Description, Discovery and Integration, which is a centralized directory where different web services offered by different organizations are published. So these are the some standards of web services. Now let's see how to create or build web service. So I'm just creating a new project. Just the change, I'll just change the name to practical the nine. So 
select an empty application so here i need to create a separate web service so i'm just adding add and new item and just below you'll find web services then extension dot asmx so i'm just creating my web service So you'll find is similar to your class which inherits system.web.services.webservice. Now initially it has one method which is an hello world method <clears throat> and a predefined structure for it like we have to add a web method over there. So here I'll add my own method just paste it here and I'll just write my own method for let's say addition of two numbers so I'm passing the parameter let's say x well, let's take a second as a y so in return it will return the addition of these two numbers let's save this similarly if I need to provide the subtraction of two numbers so I'll add one more method that is for that says subtraction of a numbers and it will return a subtraction. So this is how we have created a web service. It will have an extension dot asmx.